Here is a man with a clear vision, clear heart, always there for the community, working towards everyone, helping others. And today again, it's a great help from his side. He's a key person who has organized international artist Sukhpreet Singh's visit and art exhibition in Adelaide. Daniel, thank you very much for organizing this wonderful art exhibition. Thank you, Satsrikal, to everybody. Thank you very much, Daljeet. You're also a great person, always where everybody needs. Thanks a lot, Daniel. And uh, just tell us about friendship uh, with Sukhpreet. I met Sukhpreet in the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, in uh, Punjab Agricultural University, PAU in Ludhiana. Um, I was having an exhibition there and he welcomed me there and we became great friends. Then we lost contact and we ran into each other literally in Melbourne a couple of years ago, which was quite a coincidence. And then we have been in contact and yeah, been able to coax him over to Adelaide for this exhibition. He was in Australia for something else, so that's a wonderful thing. So in his uh, paintings, we can clearly see in his uh, artwork, it's real beauty of uh, actual rural Punjab. You can feel it, yes, in the old days. So what is your thought about uh, these paintings? What I love about Sukhpreet's paintings is the celebration of the ordinary person, the worker, the cotton picker, the you know, kids in the school, um, the sabjiwala, the milkman, the uh, people, it's the everyday life of Punjab and that to me is the heart and soul of the Sikh faith. That it's about, not about the heroes, it's about the ordinary heroes, the mothers and the fathers and all those sorts of things. That's what I love about his work. It, it does also celebrate the, the glorious and the heroic, but it also celebrates the heroic in the ordinary. That's what I love about this work. And they're so beautifully drawn and so beautifully painted. Any message you want to convey to the young generation so that, because I think most of them, they might not have seen these sort of paintings. So do you have any particular message for them? They have to learn something from these paintings or regarding the art, what you have seen the perspective in Sikhism? I think that a lot of times art is used to glorify the already glorified. And I think that what art can do, though, is shine a light on something that is not yet seen or shine a light on the ordinary and make us realise how beautiful ordinary things are, the fields, the people. That's what art really does, I think. That's also what the Sikh faith is about, I think. It's about saying, let's not just look at the, the glamorous, let's also look at the ordinary person and the efforts they make every day. Um, I think that's what art is really about. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Thanks a lot once again for organizing this trip of Sukhreet and doing great work in the field of art and communal harmony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dalji. Thanks very much for always being there too. Thanks. Thanks a lot. This way, Sardinal, Amojudana, Amriship Singh Ji, Glenn Osman Gurdwara Saab, how you are feeling today with this Sukhreet Singh Ji's visit to Glenn Osman Gurdwara Saab? Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh, Guru Piyari Saad Sangat, everyone. Virji, it is an awesome experience and Waheguru's Kirpa that actually Sikh Society of South Australia, Gurdwara Saab, 
have Pai Sukrit Singh, somebody of his nature, his art. So we are feeling really good. And why I say awesome is we've got the Punjabi school as well, and the kids are just having a really good ball. That's, what, that's what we can see, like small kids. They are really enthusiastic, and they are just, uh, with curiosity, they are looking at the Golden Temple picture. What's your message to this uh, generation for today? My message to this generation is this is our culture, this is our religion, this is what we are as Sikhs. So the way we learn about it is it, this is one of the ways we do our Kirtan, we do our Udaada, but just as that you can see the beautiful paintings and be creative and on that too for parents support the kids in these sort of activities. Yeah, that's, that's really a good thing because Rag and art, they both have really good part and significance in Sikhism. Hats on to you, your management for organizing this with the help of Daniel Connell. And uh, first, all our thanks go to Guru Maharaj who does these things, Guru Ram Das Maharaj, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj who gave us these blessings and all we ask for is those blessings in Chardikala and obviously his Sangat who come and support these exhibitions and Viji also thank you so much for taking your time. Now it's always spreading. there for the good endeavors which are there for the community, for our young kids. Yeah. Again with the Vaiguruji's blessing and again it takes human effort. So hats off to you once again for bringing the kids down and the way Sukhpreet so Singh you were just giving them an example of the art and the curiosity questions what the kids were asking. How much you are satisfied with today's experience? This is what it's all about. It's about the kids, it's about the Sikhi in our kids. So why Gradi Chardi Kala Rakhan, Pai Sukhpreet Singh Ji Nuya Gya Dade Karan Ye Chardi Kala Rakhan. So why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, why Ji Fateh. Thank you, Vijay. Dear viewers, we are so lucky today. We are sitting in Glen Osman Gurdwara Sahib Community Hall. And this is a special day as we have our special guest with us, international renowned arts artist, Sukhpreet Singh Ji. Sukhpreet Singh Ji is already from Punjab, but his paintings, they speak a lot. He has been to 29 countries worldwide with his art exhibitions. On behalf of Desi Australia Media Group, we welcome Sukhpreet Ji. Sukhpreet Ji, welcome to Adelaide. Thank you, Ji. Sastri Kaal Saranu. So, I'm so happy to come here. So, Adelaide is a very special city. Anna. It's easy to go everywhere and it's very... People are very good here. So thank you, Eddie Laird. Yeah. Thanks a lot for uh, beautiful words as your beautiful uh, creative paintings for Adelaide. Yes, it's a beautiful city in South Australia, a beautiful state, as you have been there in Kangaroo Island and some other places in I South think. Australia. So, Kriji, when you started uh, actually doing these paintings? So I started it's in 1984. And then I started doing Baj of Guru Gobind Singh. And then when I was on a bed, my leg broken for an accident. So when I recovered, I became an artist. I was doing on the bed. You know? So that was a thought process. So from Baj, you started, and then it started, started, started. Yeah. So you have been to 29 countries approximately yeah. in your world tour, originally from Punjab. So which mm -hmm. place you are from Punjab? Actually, I live in Ludhiana city. And then from Ludhiana, I'm, I'm operating everywhere. I go to many countries and I return back to my native place. So it's these are these are the two destinations, like that is your home destination? Yeah, it's like a sparrow flying from the ship in the ocean and then she can fly, can enjoy, but he has to, fly, the sparrow has to come back on the ship. It's like something like that, you know? And it's going very well, you know? Because I have to create my village scenes and uh, scenes belongs to Punjab. So I have to be there, you know? Definitely, because uh, yeah. grassroots are there, yes, so yes, yes. your thought process always work yes, on yes. the place where you are. So do you remember some instance in life when you were just walking or when you were just doing any sort of daily job and suddenly you stop for a moment to pen down a concept like, yes, this thing, I can do it in a painting. Yes. All the time we are thinking something, you know. If you, if you stop thinking, it's only because when we are sleeping. Or when there is a, you are on a meditation mode or very, very extra happy, you know, some kind of. So, yes, every day there are some 
kind of thoughts coming that oh i can paint that this can be a very good scene you know and the scene i spent like in my childhood when i went to somewhere in village then we took a bath in tubal i did a toka and then doodh wala we then how the milkman sell the milk there are lots of things that we saw in our life mm-hmm. and uh, to put them on canvas you know so it's like a the poem coming out of you huh mm-hmm. and you are singing something or you are preaching or saying something to same singing comes into story it storytelling so is a colorful storytelling and people asking me that sukhpreet is very colorful he wears with different kind of colors mm-hmm. colors are my meditation my bread and butter my cheese and wine through colors i am running my life my family everything yeah because so, colors canvas yeah. brush yeah. death has a special place in your heart in yeah. your life and that's why people call you colorful sardar ji with with the themes you are at which place you change your theme look apa a punjab we say in punjabi rab de rang then why not you know eh nahi hona chahiye sir for joy yeah like. we, 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 i think it's not good we say oh you are an old guy you have a white beard don't wear like this you have to be in a gray or a black or maroon no you know so look at the f- flowers you know so according to season according to the local area vegetation i try to come off lodge in between uh, between them as you did when you were in cough harbor like a banana yes i i especially made this banana dress because i am in coughs and through banana plantation the six are organized rich and famous and they feeding all over australia this uh, banana plantation yeah, that's, you know that's really good because yeah. uh, it's the inspiration because it's not only the arts it's not only the painting it's yeah. the message you are giving to the community yeah. be cheerful yeah. live your life be colorful yeah. so that's what it's uh, really uh, good on you supreet ji for doing uh, this artwork as well as communicating to the community yeah. for a good thing do you have any particular message for the community especially for the young generation yes oh i love to say to the especially to the, to the parents that in these countries like especially the english countries don't worry there will be no lack of food or lack of money anything so children will be in a good hand always governments are good you know countries are so let them do what they want to do you know and uh, guru ji connected us to the music instruments very very good rag mm-hmm. rag to baad after rag rang, rang. colors so let them enjoy express, the colors so they if they express themselves arts makes us, us kind if they are kind over kind over kind of it will help to the family and other thing is that other societies are doing lot lot in art if we are not doing you know we can only be a laborer or just a sardar okay the sikh community they don't involve mm-hmm. in art no 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 why not Well, that's an important part yeah. uh, of the life yeah. supreet ji thank you very much for speaking with us yeah. and wish you all the best we are so blessed yeah. you are here today oh thank you glen asmund gurdwara community and all the friends daniel and other mintu brad ji tusi daljit pa ji and amardeep ji oh thank you for all and my special friend harvinder in uh, uh, melbourne and gurseva gill and all all and navjot everybody you know that's so good to see and people of adelaide they are blessed today to see these sort of paintings bhai guruji ki khalsa bhai guruji ki fateh